Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you for asking. How are you? Um, so far, so good. Can come play. Okay, very good. Let's see that we are the the only ones here, right, right now. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that. <laughs> okay, we are about to start. Did you start uh the um, the platform? Uh, yes, I was working on the platform the first lesson. Did you finish it or did you finish section one? Um, the section one, I think so. But it, it is because I was uh, too busy with the university too at the same time and it was it's not possible, but I was watching the everything about the platform in that moment. And I okay. make some things, but it was not possible me I complete everything. <laughs> yes, but that's good. If you did something at least, that's good. That's perfect. If you have any question or any problem, because sometimes this is kind of problematic, uh, just let me know. But... Okay, sure. Thank you. And what are you studying in the university? So now I'm going to start in the um, University of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. But we had to enroll with the, the subjects that we had to study for from this year. But I was checking about the, the enrollment in the subject, but it's, it's not um, available, available in, in this moment. And I'm going to start with a history degree this year oh really yeah that's interesting you, know, you like history no it, it is because um was the first career that it was not full it was empty. oh okay <laughs> yeah for I the reason, you... I, I, yeah <laughs> okay but uh so you're planning to change your career after yeah i i i was thinking i i have been thinking to study um French and English at the same time, or oh, I don't know if it's possible English just to be a teacher for English, but I don't know. It depends on my time because with my worry, it is like a song complicated. Yeah, but uh, yeah, actually that, that would be good, right? And if you like French, try to investigate about grammar and pronunciation about French. And, and probably you will be able to study that because you have a very good accent. And I guess that you will be a very good teacher. Uh, um, no, because I'm not patient with people, but I, I'm just trying. <laughs> okay. It's just only for the experience and say I have my title in the in the wall in my house. Uh -huh. And for my mom say, oh, you don't do it anything with your life. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. understand. <laughs> yeah, I understand. But it's good, right? It's good to try things and it's good to try things that you like. If you like it, go ahead. Because sometimes we don't think that uh, I, I don't have patience or... I don't have this, I don't have that, but sometimes you develop things uh, through your career. And if you like it, that's okay. If you don't like it, you can change any time, right? No problem. Very yeah, good. For, yeah, you are right. Very good. Yes, that's, okay, you are right. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, because you don't have to be afraid of, oh my God, my mom is going to say this, my mom is going to say that. Yeah, just, just go ahead and, and try different things, right? Try to enjoy what you're doing. Uh, so I consider that is because I I will be the first um um daughter of my mom that could be have could be get a a title um as a as as a professional for that reason it's yeah. like um he had to brag about oh my 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 girl is a pro a, a, a teacher or something about the university a professional yes yeah, yes a professional yeah for that reason it is only for uh, my mom bragging about my situation I consider that <laughs> yes yes moms are like that right all the time but yeah. very good hopefully you you will find your waiting just try to enjoy what you're doing that will be my best advice right <laughs> but very good very good yes thank of course you. okay very good elida uh thank you for being here jocelyn christian irma sylvia i think that we're still missing some people D did we have any homework for today no right or do we do we have any any homework Tenemos tarea hoy? yes teacher what was the homework about? 
Do you remember? Uh, ah, yes, right. Uh, two sentences using uh, phrasal verbs. Yeah. Exactly. I just remember when I watched in transit verbs. Ah, yes, phrasal verbs. Exactly. So you were supposed to investigate two phrasal verbs and also to write sentences with phrasal verbs. Perfect. Uh, yesterday we were talking about intransitive verbs, transitive verbs, okay, and phrasal right. verbs, right? So, um, and also uh, we'll practice a conversation. So we are going to continue with that and we are going to review some of the phrasal verbs. And what is that? That is Quizlet and these are Quizlet phrasal verbs. Okay, perfect. So let me see this um, this link. Let me check what we have here. And remember, if you work in the platform and if you have any problem, let me know, okay? Let me know about that. And uh, if try to, yes, I think that we are going to do this later and try to uh, go ahead and, and continue with, with the platform. So you won't have any problem to get your diploma. We are going to review some vocabulary first. This is the vocabulary that this is the vocabulary that I wanted to uh, share with you, just uh, for you to know about this, right? About concepts that we are going to study in this module number two. Let's see. We have Irma, Tania, Jocelyn, um, Elida, Christian. Let's see another person, Sylvia and Kimberly. So uh, what I will ask you right now is I will read the concept and you will try to guess the word, right? For example, an organization of people with the same interest or purpose. What is that in English? An organization of people with the same interest or purpose. Association, right? So let's try to guess. If you don't know, si no saben, está bien, no problem. But we are going to know the meaning of it. A row of frames where bicycles can be left. How do you say that? How, how do you call that in English? A row of frames where bicycles can be left. No one? Let's see the answer. Sorry bike rack bike rack this is not very popular here in el salvador but and the united states is popular right bike rack a job or piece of work that needs to be done often how do you call that three two one let's see sure house chores right house chores like very good Number four, the feeling of enjoying something. Three, two, one. Enjoyment, right? Enjoyment, that is the feeling. Let's see. Next one, the money that you spend on something. How do you call that? The money that you spend on something. Expense, gastos, right? Expense. Next one, something that you do to help someone. This one's kind of easy, right? Something that you do to help someone. Hmm. Favor, no action. Favor, very good, perfect. Favor, you do favor, a favor, right? Perfect. The attractive color part of a plant where the seeds grow. So this one, right? How do you call this? Flower. <laughs> Flower. I thought it was petals. Petals, sorry. Okay, next one. The food and other things for your home that you buy in a food store. How do you call this? This. No? Groceries, right? Groceries. Groceries. Next one. Someone who comes to visit you. Someone who comes to visit you. A guest. A guest. Very good. A guest. Perfect. Next one. 
this is kind of complicated. Information intended to advise people on how something should be done or what something should be. You see the picture? Someone? Guideline, guidelines, right? Like those are like directions, right? A long and narrow space of a building or a house that communicates stays with others. How do you call this in English? ¿Cómo se dice pasillo en inglés? Hallway, right? Hallway. Perfect. Hallway. Let's see next one. A family or group of people who live together in a house. Household. Household. That is a household. Let's see next one. Food that is bad for you, for your body, but quick to prepare and eat. Junk food. Junk food. Very good. Junk food. Comida chatarra. Very good. A small computer that you can carry around with you. Mini laptop or little laptop? Laptop. laptop. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Laptop. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. A big, a big thin book that you can buy every week or month that has pictures and writing. Magazine. Magazine. Perfect. And I guess that's it. Let's see here. Oh, a place or thing that is dirty or untidy. This one is mess. Like this baby is doing a mess, right? A sound, especially loud, unpleasant sound. This, well, this one is kind of easy. What is this? A noise, right? Perfect <laughs> noise. Exactly. The act of leaving a car in a place for a period of time or a place where you can do this? Parking. Park. Parking. Very good. Very good, Christian. Very good. Elida, someone who studies the human mind and feelings. Psychologist. Psychologist. Perfect. Something that is your job or duty to do. Responsibility, right? It was in front of us. Responsibility. Very good. Let's see. Uh, let me look for the other things, like, because I have something that you hear. This is vocabulary that is studied in this, um, in this unit. But what I want you to check is uh, the phrasal verbs. But I, they, I think that they are ahead. Old-fashioned. Are we describing people? Yes, right? No. Listen. No, we are not describing people, right? No. Let someone out. These are the phr phrasal verbs. Let's see. The action of collecting what has fallen from our hands. That is a phrasal verb. The action of collecting what has fallen from our hands. Pick up. Pick up. Very good. Pick up after yourself. Pick up. Perfect. Next one. To move something to a place or position. Put away. Put away. Exactly. We watched uh, that yesterday, right, in the conversation. Put away. Let's see another one. If a plane takes off, it begins to fly. Kind of difficult, right? Let's see. Take off. Takes off is despegar, right? Takes off. Let's see uh, three more. Let's wait a little bit. Okay. To put one thing outside another in which it was contained or contained. Take out, right? That is a phrasal verb, take out. To make something move 
through the air by pushing it out of your hand. Look at the picture. What is he doing? It's a phrasal verb. Throw out, right? Or throw out, right? In this case, but throw out. Tirar afuera, ¿verdad? And this would be the last one because we have a lot, as you have seen. Show yourself a person against something that is offered or proposed. Turn down. Turn down in this case would be like reject, right? I turn down the offer. Rechacé la oferta. Turn down. I will share this link because as you can see, we have a lot, right? A phrase over turn off. We have turn on. We have admit. This is not a phrasal verb, but anyways, apologize. We have different vocabulary. So I will share this. You can sh you can check it later if you want to, because we have a lot of things uh, to study now. Okay, let's go ahead. Now we are going to review the phrasal verbs with this uh, homework that we had, right? We need to investigate two new phrasal verbs and write a sentence with each of them. Example, tell off, reprimand or scold someone. My mom told me off because I didn't do the homework. Now I need a volunteer. We are going to write the sentences here and we are going to share that information later. So we have phrasal verbs, right? One volunteer, please, out of the eights that I have here. Un voluntario, just one. I had my two sentences. If you want, I can be both the volunteer. Okay, perfect, Elida. Uh, give me uh, your phrasal verb and the sentence. Um, give up. Mm -hmm. And the sentence is, I will never give up. Very good. I will never give up. What is the meaning of give up? I won't never give up. Oh. Mm -hmm. It is will not, but in contraction. Contracted. Exactly. I will never give up. What is the meaning of give up? Rendirse. Rendirse. Exactly. In this case, uh, never is negative, right? Never. Yeah. Want is negative. We have a double negative here. So it is better if we use will. Okay, okay. will not never give up. Then. I, I will never give up. Nunca okay, okay. me rendiré. Perfect. And the second one? She passed. Well, the second phrasal verb is pass away. Pass away. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the sentence? She passed away last night. He passed away, away last, last night. night. Perfect. What yeah. is the meaning of pass away? Fallecer. Fallecer. Very good. Mm -hmm. Fallecer. Ella falleció anoche. Poor of mm -hmm. her, right? Very good. She passed away last night. Perfect. Elida, choose someone else. Escoja alguien más, Elida. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm so sorry. Uh... <laughs> yes, for that oh okay Irma it could be the second okay Irma Raquel are you there Irma okay una tengo yo teacher es que andaba algo perdido en el tema okay no problem one it's okay el el sería get up get up and what is the sentence sería I will get up early I will get up early very good what is the meaning of get up? ¿Qué significa get up? Levantarse. Levantarse, get up. Perfect. Now, uh, choose someone else, please, Irma. Escoja alguien más. Choose someone else. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Okay, give me the phrasal verbs and the sentences, please. Um, my first one it was give up. <laughs> give up. Okay, no problem. So my second one was um breakdown. Breakdown. Okay, what is the sentence for breakdown? 
uh, isn't fast, but I think it's okay. My phone broke down yesterday. Okay, my phone broke down yesterday. And what is the meaning of breakdown? Um, arruinar o dejar de funcionar. Exactly, perfect. And give up. What is your sentence for give up? <laughs> the same as, uh, I don't know what else. I Elida. will never give up. Okay, very good. Oh, she will never give up. She will never give up. Okay, perfect. She will never give up. Perfect. Now, uh, Jocelyn, choose another person. Uh, Kimberly Lopez. Kimberly Lopez. Are you there, Kimberly? Yes. Okay, perfect. Give me your phrasal verbs and sentences, please. Okay, my first adverb is clean up. The sentence clean up. is... Mm -hmm. Please clean up your bedroom before you go outside. Please cl clean up your bedroom before you go outside. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. What is the meaning of clean up? Limpiar. Limpiar. Very good. And the other one? And the other one is pick up. Pick up? No. Check out. Take out, okay. Take, take, take. take. And what is the sentence? Teacher, excuse me. Uh, the the first verb is check. Check out. Oh, okay. Yes. Check out. And what is the sentence? Yes. Uh, check out the crazy hair on that guy. Check out the crazy hair on that guy. Yes. What is the meaning of check out? In this case, could be look out. Look out, like, yes, like look, right? Watch out, right? Very good. Yes. Perfect. Choose someone else. Um, Christian. Christian. Okay. Christian, are you there? Hi, teacher. Uh, my first, first verb is breakdown. Breakdown. Yes. Okay, what is your sentence? My car breaks down because it is very old. My car breaks down because it's really old. What is the meaning of break down? It is very old. Okay. And what is the meaning of break down? Ah, uh, descomponer. Se descompuso, very good. Uh -huh. And the second one? Uh, call off. Call, call, call off. Call off. Yes. Okay. Uh, my teacher call off the virtual class, the virtual class, because he got he got sick. The virtual class, uh huh, because he got sick. He got sick. Is correct. Yes. What is the meaning of call off? Canceler. Cancel up, call it off, right? Very good, perfect. Call off. So we have call off, break call down, off. check out, and clean up. Perfect. Uh, choose someone else, Christian. Alguien que no haya participado. Ah, quiero ver. Uh, Marvin, creo. No Marvin. Pensé. Marvin, are you there, Marvin? Marvin, I guess. Marvin? Yeah. Okay. okay, Marvin. Give me your sentences and the phrasal verbs. Uh, uh, pick up. Pick up. Okay, what is the sentence? Um, I will pick up my shoes tomorrow. Okay, what is the meaning of pick up? Es como recoger. Very good. Perfect. And the second one? Um, I have <laughs> the one. Only that one? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I guess that uh, we 
Everybody participated, right? Todos participaron ya. Let me see. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Me, teacher. <laughs> Tania, right? Yes. Tania. Go ahead, Tania. Uh, okay. Fraser base is look up. My look sister up. look up. Look up. My sister look up to you. My sister look up to you. Look, look up to you. What is the meaning of look up? Admirar. Ah, okay. Look, look up to you. Let me see. Uh, uh, you you wanted to write mi hermana te admira. Yes. Okay, let me see because look up to you. I just want to make sure because it sounds kind of uh, mi hermana te admira. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, I, I ask the question. Eh, ¿Cuándo es que se le agrega ed al final? En el en el first verbs. When is in past? Okay. Okay. Uh, in this case, um look up look uh look up uh, look up is admirar, pero en este caso look you up. Um it would be better like this, look you up, pero eso sería como buscar, ¿verdad? Um, but it, it, it can be, it, it depends on the context, right? Depende del contexto. My sister looked you up or look up at you, look up at you, look up at you, right? Look up at you. That would be better. Look up at you. My sister look up at you. Ajá, mi hermana te mira o como te admira. It depends on the context. Um, yes, go ahead. Questions? Irma, go ahead. Y, eh, si pone, lo puede, en una oración, por ejemplo, eh, donde dice, en la segunda, my sister look up at you, mm -hmm. este, el a lo podemos poner así como está escrito y también se puede poner al final y significa lo mismo. No, it has to be like this, tiene que ser así, at you. Ajá, es que yo estaba en un ejercicio de la plataforma y está escrito así y también se pone al final. Look, uh, looked, my sister, uh, what was it, ¿cómo era, cómo lo vio usted? ¿Cómo era el que vio usted? Um, no recuerdo, estaba en un ejercicio, ejercicio de la plataforma, creo que no lo no sé. Pero este, digamos así, my sister look at you up al final. Ah, look you up. Ajá. Yes, yes, yeah, that's correct, yes, that's correct. But in this case, um, it, it sounds better look up at you for me, admirar. Aquí yo lo entendería como admirar, in this one. Mm -hmm. But in this one, es como que te busca, te busca, look you up. Sí, but cambia, look, cambia el significado de la oración, ¿verdad? It, yeah, it depends on the context. Look up. Okay. okay, yes, but very good, very good question. Let's see another question. No more questions? Okay, and Tania, give me the, the second one. Uh, my father's business is picking up. My father? The business... Is picking up. Is picking up. Mm -hmm. And what is the second word of my father? My father. My father's business. Uh, the business business is picking up. Ah, okay. And what is the meaning of picking up? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of picking up? What is the meaning of pick up? Um, mejorando. Okay, my father, uh, okay, yes. It depends, right, pick up, mejorando. My father's business is, it probably is getting better, or um, in this case, did you use any translator or something, or you, or improving, right? 
my father business let me see if it is correct because uh sometimes it is correct sometimes it is not but i just want to make sure my father's business is picking up picking up yeah, pick up tiene doble significado yes. uno significa mejorar Recorra, y el otro recoger yeah, dependiendo si es intransitivo o transitivo algo así vi exactly. también un ejemplo Exactly. Pick up is como, in this case, it depends on the context. That's that's the reason why I look for it, okay? Because sometimes it's, it's not very common to listen. No es muy común escuchar estas frases, pero my father's business is picking up. Está como repuntando, está como mejorando. Yes, it's, it's correct. Very good, Tanya. Very good. Perfect. You see, we are learning. Let's see now. Now, do you have any question about phrasal verbs? Examples, preguntas, questions about phrasal verbs, how to form a phrasal verb, transitive, intransitive. No? Okay, perfect. Congratulations to every one of you because you did a very good job for this first homework. Lo hicieron muy bien. Congratulations. Now, we're going to continue. The objective for this lesson, for today's lesson is, in this lesson, you will practice using two part verbs to make requests. Vamos a hacer peticiones, right? So this is the first one. Um, sometimes when we talk in English, when we speak in English, we just say like, turn down the TV, right? Pick up your things. Turn it down, right? Turn, pick it up, right? And we're going to, uh, learn how to make it better or, or sound softer. Vamos a, a emprender cómo sonar no tan uh, fuerte la, 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 la petición, sino que más suave, okay? For example, we have with nouns, turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Uh, in this one, as Tanya said, right, Some or as Irma was asking, right, Teacher, sometimes it separates, right? Sometimes it is possible, sometimes it is not. But we already know why. Ya sabemos por qué se separan, ¿verdad? Porque son transitive and intransitive. It's separable and inseparable, right? We already know that. So in this case, we can separate it, right? Turn down the TV, turn the TV down. Pick up your things, pick your things up. That's correct. Both ways are correct. Turn it down. Turn down it? No. Never, right? Pick them up. Pick up them? No. Never, right? These are nouns. These are pronouns. So with pronouns, they have to be between the verbs if it is separable. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. So that's the way that we can request and respond about this, right? About these uh, sentences. Now we are going to practice. I don't know if you're able to see it. Pueden verlo? Can you see this, the pictures? Can you see the pictures? No, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, now you will help me to uh, complete these sentences, right? For example, we have the books, we have the, the toys, the music, your jacket, the TV, your boots, the yard, the lights, the trash, and the cat. And we are going to complete all of these sentences with those nouns. Esos son nombres. Por eso los podemos poner en medio, porque son nombres. Y algunos los vamos a poner al final. Okay? So the number one is pick up the toys, please. So toys is already taken, right? Toys. Number two, turn off, please. Turn off what? What can we turn off? The TV. The TV. The TV, very good. Turn the TV off, right? Number two, the TV. Okay, so TV is crossed out because we already uh, chose the TV. Number three, clean up, please. What can we clean up? Your books. The jar. 
Exactly, the books, the yard. We are going to choose the yard, but let's see if we can change it, okay? Later, clean uh, up, clean the yard up, right? Clean the yard up. It can be in the middle, you see? Puede ir en medio. Please put away. Put away what? The books. The books, yeah, the books. Number four is the books, okay. Perfect. Now, uh, turn down. Please turn down what? The music. The music. The music, right? Very good. Perfect. Please turn down the music. Number six. Please take off the light. Take off the lights. Okay, as as you already saw, uh, as you already know, uh, verbs can have different meanings, right? Depending on the context. Como Tania, right? Que nos dijo, pick up tiene diferentes teacher, diferentes significados. Now, take off. Vimos que el aeroplano take off despega, verdad? Take off. Pero si yo le digo take off your shoes, ¿qué les estoy tratando de decir? Take off your shoes. Despeguen sus zapatos? No, right? Como quitarse. Quitarse, exactly. So in this case, which one are we your going boots. to take off? Your boots. Exactly. Please take off your boots. Perfect. Hang up, please. What can we hang up? Your jacket. Your jacket, perfect. Hang up your jacket or hang your jacket up, right? Sorry, your jacket. Eight. Uh, please take out. Take out the cat. The cat? Yes, it can be possible. Actually, yes. Podemos sacar al, al gato, ¿verdad? But in this case, what is next to the cat? The trash, mm -hmm. exactly, the trash. That would be better, right? Because of the exercise, right? But it's correct. Take out the trash. Please let out. The cat. The cat, the cat. perfect. Now, in this case, we can use the cat, right? It's better. Please let the cat out. And number 10, ten, turn on. The light. The lights, perfect. Enciende las luces, right? The lights, perfect. You see? So now we can uh, see that we can place these words in the middle of the phrasal verbs. Let's see. We still have 20 minutes. So I think that we're, we're okay with the time. So we have two part verbs or phrasal verbs. That's another way to... to to say or to call phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a verb plus a particle. This particle can be um, an adverb, right? Or it can be a preposition, right? So it depends. And this is how we form the verbs, right? Put, poner, right? Off is the particle. Put off, right? Two part first can change in meaning. Put is to place, poner, verdad? Put off, postpone, posponer, put off the class. The teacher put off the class. The teacher pospuso la clase, right? Two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, it is usually possible to put this before the particle or after it. The noise walk the giant up the noise walk up the giant so if the object is a noun we can place it in between as we already did right in the previous exercise but if the object is a pronoun it must come before the particle pick him up he keeps putting it off call her back so you see it will never be at the end if it is a pronoun. So that will be like a rule, right? With phrasal verbs. 
When you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. Put off, postpone, put on to cover your body with clothes, put back to return something to its original place. And this is a listening. I guess that that's it with phrasal verbs. Do you have any question about phrasal verbs? Preguntas acerca de los phrasal verbs? Because I think that we covered the whole um, topic for today. We are going to review it if you want to later, but I think that we have covered most of it. Questions? Preguntas? No questions? Irma, go ahead, Irma. O sea que solo cuando son pronombres podemos ponerlos en medio, así en medio de la oración. Exactly. Yes. In pro if, 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 it, if they are pronouns, can be in the middle of the phrasal verb. Pick him up. No, pick up him. No, recógelo. Pick up him. No, pick him up. Okay. Exactly. Son nombres, si, se, si se puede poner pick up the TV, algo así. Ajá, pick up the TV or pick the TV up. Yes. Exactly. Very good question, Irma. Another question? No questions? Okay, perfect. So we are going to practice that. We are going to practice with this activity. If you are able to practice, please do it, okay? This is an activity like a game. I will explain to you how it works, but let me, let me, let me see right now. Ya les voy a explicar cómo es que funciona. And I think that I will use my cell phone so I will be able to see what you're seeing. So this is like a quiz for phrasal verbs, right? And uh, you will see different questions about phrasal verbs and you just need to answer them. You're not going to answer them uh, verbally, but using your device, using your computer or using your um, let's see here using your computer, your phone, etc. Let's see. Okay, now you can go to joinmyquiz.com in your computer. I will share I will share the link in the um, in the chat. Well, I in the chat style link. Solo le dan clic y también voy a compartir el código. So you just need to go to the joinmyquiz.com and you need to enter that code 532009. So I will wait for you because I'm doing it right now in my phone. And if you are able to see there in your device, you will be able to see uh, that is charging quizzes and it says enter a join code and you just need to enter 532009. And you need to click join a game. I see here, Raquel, Jocelyn. Okay, perfect. Now we have Jocelyn, Raquel, Marvin, Avalos. Who else? Only that, right? Okay, now you can play and it says over there, uh, you need just to choose the, the phrasal verb, okay? And I will show here my screen. 
and I will enter the code. So this is what you see, right? It says she, her TV to watch the masked singer. She turned on, right? Okay, and this is what you have to do in your device. I will get along well with, be over, play back, give up. I pay back, right? Pay you back. So this is what you have to do. You can go out barefoot, please go. Turn up, put on, sit down, throw away your shoes. Put on, right? Let's see. I need to give up negative thoughts. I must be an optimistic person. Probably is give up, right? So. Jocelyn, you're doing it very well. Could you please be over my cat? Stand up my cat. Look after my cat. Give up my cat. Look after, right? Look after is like take her. I I threw away. I turned up. I went out. I sat down. Some old love letters last year. I threw away. I I get up, right? We already watched this. Get up at 4:30 a.m. Let's see, David is taking off, right? We already checked this, take off. I am taking back, looking after, picking up, looking forward, going to the beach. It is my favorite place in the world. It should be looking forward to, right? Looking forward to. And please hurry up. We need to fill out, get off, put on, turn up the bus on the next stop. In this case, get off is bajarse. Bajarse del bus, right? Get off. Get off the bus. And I think we are missing two more. Let's see. They're throwing away, looking after, writing down, calling back. I think it is writing down the questions. But I don't want to be first in this game, so I will choose uh, calling back. This is incorrect, right? It's writing down. I don't want to be first. And let's see the, the last one. Please write down, go away, look for, turn down. It is turned down, right? Turn down the music. I can't study, but I will choose write down because I don't want to be the first, okay? It's turned down. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see who won. I guess that some of you are still answering.
Okay, I think that we finished, right? Okay, in this case, let's see. Kimberly was the first place. Marvin, the second place. Jocelyn, the third place. Very good. Now, I don't count. So let's say Tanya goes after. Avalos, Raquel. And I guess that's it, right? Very good, Kimberly. Congratulations. Because you did it very well with this quiz. Let's see here. Thank you, teacher. Very good, Kimberly. So uh, we are going to go back to the presentation. Did you like this activity? Do you want to do this more about, uh, would you like to do more games like this? Or it was kind of boring for you? It was boring? For me, it was interesting. Interesting. Yes, it's interesting. Yes, and I like it. Yeah, yeah. Some people like games like this, right? So I try to bring like different options, like different activities. But very good. Perfect. Let's see. So tomorrow we are going to study about um we have we will have a listening practice, pronunciation also. And let me see if we can have a homework for tomorrow. Let me see here. Homework, homework, yes. Um, the things that I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want you to write something uh, about your family that you don't want to, but we are going to do this. Family complaints. This is the activity that we are going to do, right? We are going to write about family complaints. This is what we are going to do tomorrow because we are going to use requests um and how you handle these problems with your family so write a list of things two or three things about your family that you would like to change and then present it to the class example we barely see each other we don't celebrate holidays birthdays vacations or anything together so try to um, write things that you don't like about your family. These are some examples. For example, we never have dinner together as a family. Everybody is always arguing about housework. My daughter never takes her headphones off. My father criticizes everything I do. My husband never helps around the house. My kids are always texting their friends. My mother often calls me late at night. My parents don't respect my, my privacy. My brother never puts his phone away. And my wife always brings work home on weekends. So what I want you to do is just to choose two or three things out of this or something that you don't like about your family that you would like to change and write it down. Eso va a ser la tarea, okay? That will be the homework. And tomorrow we will try to create requests with models and also with phrasal verbs. Okay, like for example, can you turn down the music? How will you request to change this kind of behavior, right? Um, and also we will have uh, more examples about this, right? We will have a role play probably about this vocabulary and we will have a listening practice. Do you have any question about this? Any question about the activity? Any question about the homework? Preguntas? Sobre la homework. Entendí mucho sobre la tarea. Me perdí. Okay, do you want me to say it in, in Spanish? Yes, please. Okay. Entonces, mañana vamos, vamos a, a estudiar acerca de las requests. Una request es una petición, una solicitud. Pero vamos a aprenderla a hacer en inglés usando phrasal verbs y también models, right? Model verbs. Y vamos a tener más ejemplos, pero ustedes van a traer un ejercicio. El ejercicio es que van a traer algo que no les gusta de su familia. 
algo que, por ejemplo, no me ayudan a lavar los trastes. Este, mis hijos eh, no ordenan, por ejemplo. No dejan el celular nunca, ¿verdad? O si usted... <laughs> exactly. Uh, or if you have children, si ustedes son padres de familia, um, pueden escribir eso. O si no tienen hijos, a uh, mi esposo, ¿verdad? O mi esposa. O si ustedes tienen padres si no tienen esposo o esposa, mis papás siempre me están regañando por esto. O mis papás nunca me llegan a traer a tiempo, ¿verdad? Nunca me llegan a traer. Los estoy esperando y se tardan un montón, ¿verdad? O no me dejan salir. Entonces, escriban um, unos tres o dos quejas que ustedes tengan de la familia. Y aquí vamos a aprender a cómo hacer un request, cómo solicitarles, cómo pedirles que cambien esa, esa actividad. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, we never have dinner together as a family, we can ask, it, can, we have, can we have dinner today? Can we eat something out? Can we go outside, right? So we are going to find like a solution in English for that problem. Vamos a encontrar como una solución usando estos models, right? Can, could, would you mind? Usando frases, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So Irma, what are we going to do tomorrow? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana, Irma? As a homework? Vamos a traer por lo menos tres oraciones de algo que no nos guste de nuestra familia, que no nos ayudan, cosas así. Ajá, ejemplo, un ejemplo. Eh, my my husband Ajá. No, no, not help clean my house. Ah, ok, very good. Is that true? ¿Es verdad o es mentira? Es ejemplo nada más. Eso es el ejemplo. Es un ejemplo. Es un ejemplo. Muy bien. Eso es un ejemplo. Mi esposo nunca me ayuda a limpiar mi casa. Nunca me ayuda a limpiar. Podemos usar los phrasal verbs. Also, podemos usar los phrasal verbs. Van a traer solo dos o tres oraciones. Ok. So, no te preocupes por eso. Y vamos a continuar con practicar los phrasal verbs. Uh, do you have any other question? Any other doubt? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Another question? No questions. Everything's clear. Okay, perfect. And we're tomorrow, I think that we are going to review a little bit of vocabulary. We are going to have a role play and a listening. So we have a lot of work to do. So today we are going to finish the class. I hope you have a nice night. Go to sleep, rest, relax, watch TV, watch a movie, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you. Have a nice Thank night. You. Thank you. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.